municipal elections. As well as rejecting a majority of candidates from President Alan Garcia's party, voters are expected to provide the key to next year's presidential poll. Last month was dubbed Red October by the media, a reflection of the campaign of violence waged by the Marxist Shining Path rebels and a prelude to their strategy to block next April's presidential election. While the government made some headway in stopping the campaign of terror, the guerrillas' record is intimidating. Shining Path is believed responsible for the deaths of 100 municipal candidates so far this year. Hundreds more have resigned, fearing for their lives. Presidential candidates like novelist Mario Vargas Llosa are expected to be the big winners from the local polls. Llosa's popularity, though, hasn't extended to his Democrat teammate, Juan Inchaustegui. He's fallen behind Ricardo Belmont, a television station owner running for the office in Lima as an independent. He's winning support from many disenchanted with Peru's politicians and parties. Peru must now reverse public disdain for politics before it threatens the electoral process. Lima took on the appearance of an armed camp as voting got underway, with Shining Path pledged to disrupt the election by violence. But enough Peruvians were prepared to ignore the rebels' threat for large queues to form before the polling stations even opened. Soldiers searched people on the way in as rumors circulated that Shining Path would cut people's fingers off if they bore the indelible ink of the voter. President Garcia was among the first to cast his ballot in a special polling station set up inside the foreign ministry. He made a point of putting his finger in the inkwell, an act that, in less well-secured parts of the country, could be a lot worse than just a mess. About 10 million Peruvians are registered to vote, but the authorities said there were no candidates in 86 towns because of the rebel death threats. Here in Ayacucho, birthplace of the Shining Path insurgency, those threats were accompanied by what the rebels call an armed strike to coincide with the elections. The implication was simple and deadly. Anyone working during the strike risked being shot. For these local Indians queuing to vote, the risk of mutilation and possibly death was apparently worth taking. Queremos que se nos recuerde por algo que hemos dicho, que se nos abandone por lo mismo. Por eso decimos obras sí, palabras no, muchas gracias y hasta la próxima. Yo creo que el jurado provincial, en este caso, en esta ciudad que interesa tanto al país, tiene facultades eh, excepcionales seguramente para abrir mesa de transeúnte, para prorrogar el plazo del voto. Pero usted ha visto a toda esta gente que quiere votar y para mí es emocionante. Thank you.